The purpose of this final video in Lesson 2 is to illustrate two topics that may have been mentioned in earlier videos. One is the concept of cross-footing. The other one is the effect of a blank cell or an empty cell on the average function. All right, let's take a look at um, average first. Average, highlight them. So we have an average of four boxes of cookies. Oh, we better extend that decimal position a little. 4.33. Now, Kathy Davis does not have a zero entered there. She didn't sell any cookies. What happens if we put in a zero? See, it does affect it. So that's one thing about the average function. If uh, somebody was excused from an exam and doesn't get a grade at all, then the teacher would not want to add in a true zero with the rest of the grades to get the class average. So typically we would just simply delete it. So that's item number one. Item number two is something called cross footing. Cross-footing is adding the numbers across in the row and comparing, to, comparing it to the same numbers added up in the column. They should be equal. If they are not, then there's a problem. It's typically done like this. Equal if the sum of B11 through G11 equals the sum of um, H four through H ten, then put one of them down as your numbers, uh, probably sum of B eleven through G eleven. Otherwise we need to notify that there is a problem. So no problem. Our numbers do add up correctly. But here's said Kathy Davis back here. Oh, she really did sell um, six boxes. We just didn't get the number. Whoa, we get the word error. Now, in earlier releases of Excel, you might not have gotten a hint like we did here. Remember that originally Kathy had nothing in that cell. Well, the person who created the spreadsheet was short-sighted. And instead of copying down the formula, they said, well, there's nothing in cell B5, so we shouldn't include it in the formula, not thinking ahead that maybe someday there would be. So when we actually put a number in there, then our numbers do not add up. And the current version of Excel will point this out that this is probably where the error is with the green comment sign. It is up to you then to experiment with the two of them. You might put one of the sum functions there, one of them there, compare them, see why they're off, figure out where the extra number came from, and so forth. But that's an example of cross-footing. Bye.